What's going on, everyone? Uh, I'm here, and I'm going to do the second part of my vinyl collection. Uh, before I get started with anything, I'm going to say what's playing in the background. If you can hear it, hopefully you can, because if you're not, you're missing out. This is Jungle Rock Order Shall Prevail. This is the new Jungle Rock record off Victory Records 2015 release. I have the limited version. Virgin, limited version, uh, limited to 750 copies, or 7,500 copies, which is not a small limit by any means, but it's just a digipack version that's limited, but uh, it's awesome, awesome band, I saw them yesterday, I'll talk more about them in my collection update, that will be sometime whenever I wind up getting enough things to justify doing so, um, so today's gonna be seven inches, which I only have three, so it'll be really quick, uh, prog, and just quality classic rock. Let's just start off with the seven inches. This one is the amazing Rhythm Ace. I'm not sure who this is. I don't believe it to me for free. I'm not yet around the list. listening to it. Next, Neil Young. I'm glad I got this one, because I really like Neil Young. Nicolette Larson, too. Next, uh, Phil Collins, Susu Studio. Oh, uh, this is like my favorite song ever when I was a really little kid. So it's cool to have those. Right so, I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna start off here with Oyster Cult, Cultosaurus Erectus. This, uh, this sleeve's in really good shape for being from a flea market for. I paid five bucks for four of them, so it's about twenty-five each. Really cool. Good stuff. Just black liner. I'll show you if it's not black, and I don't think anything in here is not black. So uh, next, Boston. Or Boston. Yeah, really good stuff. I really like this band. I don't think most people can say them progressive, but I do. Same thing with this next band. Nice thing, progressive. Progressive and fun. Um, the Edgar Winter Group with They Only Come Out at Night. Uh, the Edgar Winter Group is responsible for tunes like Free Ride and Frankenstein. You know, the da 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 If you've ever heard that on a classic rock radio, I'm sure you have. But that's the spin. And uh, it's really good, really strange cover though, but I really like it. Next. Album, live album, Double LP set, Black Vinyl, Gateful. Cool stuff. Next up, that's one of my copies of this. Which I call Aquaman. Nice skateboard. Cool art. Second copy of that. Next. Oh, this is probably my favorite Jeff Rafael record. Stand up. Very cool. With a pop up gatefold, which is really cool. So, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite records that I own. Really, really, really good stuff. You don't know Rush, you need to know Rush and you don't have this album or something like that. Okay, cool. Really good stuff. I love this band. I have the CD, so this doesn't get tons of listen, but when it does, I like it. Uh, next band I really like, uh, Uriah Heep with Uriah Heep. This is the self-titled debut by the almighty progressive rock band, Uriah Heep. Awesome. Awesome game cool. Yeah, a really cool cover up too. Next, we have another Uriah Heap record, Demons and Wizards. Gatefold. I don't want to take it out of the sleeve because I'm kind of lazy here. I really like the cover, by the way. Uh, nice Gatefold. Uriah Heap is so important just for so many reasons, too. Nobody did something like this before. They were way ahead of their time. 
another band along this line. The same same band. Next. You're right, you the magician's birthday. You had another beautiful little cool. A strange cover art, but I really like it also. My skate fold. Really nice. Really nice stuff. I love this band. Uh, let me get back in the sleeve really quick. And I'll show you the back. We're nearing the end of the run. One more record. Yeah, one more. Awesome. Next, Fragile by the band Yes. Uh, really good progressive, again, like Genesis. Good stuff. I haven't given it a listen, but I know Yes pretty well, so I already know what I'm going to do. Next, I'm just in the good era of rock. Hang on. Uh, Aerosmith. Toys in the Attic. Uh, really good. It's a classic album. Next. Really excited to find this. Cream. Israeli Gears. Just got the cassette tape, too. You saw my other collection update. Awesome. Awesome. I think that's not really cool. Next one. This is a terrible, terrible crop that I bought it for listing. Cream. Flame of Fire. Next. Excited. Came in the stack with uh, the blister call one. This Kiss Destroyer. I don't know. For some reason, it's really hard for me to find a good shit Kiss records for a decent price. They're all for used vinyl, which is, I don't know. Used vinyl sometimes gets a little pricey. I'm, I'm not even a new vinyl guy. I own one brand new vinyl that I bought for myself. So yeah, our next Kiss Alive. I know the story came up before this, so they're out of order, but more of it. Really good. There's the three albums that are on here. Um, if you don't know Kiss, I would recommend Strutter. Come on and love me, Parasite. Nothing to lose, 100,000 years, Black Diamond. Cold Gin. Really good. Everything. I love Kiss. Um, early era Kiss more than anything, but I like them Kiss. Zeppelin 3. Awesome, awesome, fine. I determined that this is the most elusive on vinyl, at least from my findings. I find other ones with a terrible shape because it's Zeppelin, and people listen to a ton of it. Uh, Zeppelin 4. Awesome. I don't even need to say anything. I have this on cassette too. Really iconic picture right there. This is the last record of today. Van Halen? With Van Halen. This is also the next stack that I bought from the blue market for a buck and a quarter. I don't think I have this CD. No, I don't. But I have this one. It's really good and just has tracks like You Really Got Me, Jenny's Crying, Running With The Devil, Ain't Talking About Love, uh, Eruption. Those are like the biggest songs in here. So that's pretty cool. Really, really good stuff. Love them. Love that anyway. So yeah, that was it. Uh, that's all I got for you right now. I'll do my last stack sometime in the near future. And then, you know, vinyl collection will be done. Then I'll be the updates. But uh, yeah, again, check these guys out. Jungle Rod. Or Shelby Vale. Check them out. Met them. Awesome dudes. So yeah, uh, I'll show you guys some stuff in whatever collection update that'll be anytime soon. So thanks for watching. Yeah, I got that. There's the stack. And then that's what I got left. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching, guys.